Of all materials used for insulation purposes, there is only one provided by nature which requires no further fabrication, diatomaceous earth. Its high insulating effectiveness is due to a rare combination of chemical nature and physical structure. The most widely used diatomaceous earth is known as cellite. It consists of the silica shells of microscopic marine organisms called diatoms. They lived and died millions of years ago, their shells accumulating on the ocean floor, forming a structure that is porous yet compact. Today, cellite is mined from huge deposits of diatomaceous earth located at Lompoc, California. What was once the ocean floor now comprises the surrounding hills, representing deposits that built up during a period of 30,000 years. Natural insulating brick is cut from the pure mineral cellite. It is used to insulate furnaces and other industrial equipment where temperatures behind the refractory linings range up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Its tremendous number of microscopic pores provide unusually low thermal conductivity. And its high temperature resistance is due to the fact that it is nearly pure silica. But by suitable processing, the temperature resistance of cellite may be increased to a point as high as 2500 degrees. In manufacturing brick from diatomaceous earth, the crude is quarried and then reduced to powder form. In the pug mill, the material is brought to the proper moisture content. It is then formed into brick-sized units in automatic presses. After the moisture has been removed, the brick are fired in a tunnel kill at high temperatures. This heat treatment develops the bond within the material and eliminates the possibility of shrinkage in service even when used in furnaces as a direct refractory. Cell light in granular or powdered form is used for many special industrial purposes. The granular form when calcined may be mixed with Portland cement to form a semi-refractory insulating concrete which 20 years ago first made possible the lining of furnace doors with an insulating material. Natural cellite can be prepared only in the form of brick or powders. But when bonded with asbestos fiber, it may be molded into blocks or pipe insulation of any desired size or thickness. In these forms, its range of usefulness is greatly extended. The unusual insulating effectiveness of this material, plus its ability to serve directly back of the refractory linings in furnaces operating at temperatures of 2600 degrees or more, makes it invaluable in the field of industrial insulation.